What's up, boys? I am back with some more explosive mining on the Engineered Demolitionist. I'm looking for the high explosive grenade and the cryo grenades combined with the balanced overclock true TNT mining to destroy all the terrain. And combining that with some resource scanners, I'll try and get a ton of resources and then scale up some damage with some other artifacts like pickled nitra, nitrogenic powder, stuff like that. And there's actually a somewhat new mechanic where if you get a ton of reduced movement speed, you can actually go negative now. I know I tried that in the past a few times and it only brought me to 0% movement speed, but apparently you can go negative and you'll actually start moving backwards, so that sounds cool to try. And then I'm going to be holding a decent amount of resources if I can. I'm going to try not to reroll in the shot too much. Just try and scale up the damage artifacts as much as possible. So I'm looking for high explosive or cryo grenade. There we go. I will take reload speed for that to maximize the terrain damage once I get that. Another potency, I guess. I think that's probably one of the weaker stats on it since reload speed is already increasing the freezing power, but it's also giving you damage and mining as well. Jesus, man, stop bouncing all over the place. Well done, you got them all. Another pickup radius. Alright, hopefully I can grab that now because the earlier you get it the better with the resource scanners another cryo grenade level not ideal but I mainly want to get the overclocks going now good freeze at least I can finish that off and crush them another potency, I guess. Uh, no scanners, so I guess I'll take a divers to get the reload speed up a little bit. That'll help me mine out slightly faster, as well as having some decent overall damage stats. I'll take the reload speed there. Got the true TNT. The big thing is that I don't have any damage boosting overclocks currently, so my damage will be pretty low. And I also don't even have any scanners for the build yet. So I think I'm going to try and get some rocks to help me out with the elites here. My single target is just completely ineffective on its own currently. Cryo potency. That seems to be all I'm getting. Need some more rocks to actually hurt them here. One of them is kind of dying, the other one is completely fine. But I'm doing all I can. Some 
detonators could be pretty helpful. Let's grab some early pickup here. Try and get the flyer into them. That is a really bad freeze she uses. Yeah, sometimes the cryo grenade can backfire like that. I think I'm just gonna push the one cryo grenade super hard and save some of my gold here. Cryo grenade is good enough, it should be able to carry, hopefully. I don't know that I can really do much more to the flyer. I got a ton of detonators on him. I dropped all of the rocks on him. And he's still almost half HP. Maybe you have to get a damage overclock at level 6? I don't know what else I could have done here. Alright, let's grab the magnet to give me a bit more power here because they're getting very ramped up. Plasma or PGL. Getting the triple grenade on that could help me out a decent bit here. Reload speed, sure. Big paint job. That'll give me hopefully the triple. Yeah, okay, that should be very helpful here. Some nice crits. Another reload. Another reload. Let's get some crit damage. I'll take the level there to push that up pretty high. I just don't think any of those help me. Preferably a throwable, but probably not that. I guess incendiary is okay. Alright, hopefully the cryo grenade is good enough to finish him now. I'm quickly running out of time. Another damage for the plasma? I don't mind some overclocks for that. Could get some more slowing effects, or I think the shocking effect for some extra debuffing power. Ah, uh, that could give me an overclock, which would be pretty good with the cluster grenades. Some more throwable. Another plasma burster. Okay, it was starting to get a little bit dicey at the end there, but the magnet plus a bunch of overclocks for the cryo grenade really helped me out there. I don't think I need that anyways. So I'm gonna hold some gold and hope to get gold tipped. I have the big cryo grenade mining for me, so hopefully just that one weapon is enough if I can get a ton of reload speed for it. Get what the second stat on the favorite overclock the cryo grenade is. If it's something like potency, I'm probably not gonna take that. Since I think it's already gonna freeze fine with all the potency upgrades I got, plus a bunch of reload speed. Yeah, I guess. Come on, resource scanner. No luck. I guess we're going ration pack here. Like 
So I just have one completely useless overclock on my main weapon now. Yes, I will take that over potency, and we can get the shock to buff the other weapons a bit with some extra crit chance and a little bit of AoE damage. I don't know how well I can actually hit a single target that's running away from me. I can get some detonators as well, that one kind of got deleted. Plasma Burster, sure. Maybe I can drop the rocks in the order. Very nice. Oops. Well, I got the gold scanner. I can get some decent value off of that still. I didn't mean to pick up the magnet though. Some more reload. Eh, I kind of want to get the overclock for that and finish it off. So yeah, potency isn't super useful with how much I already have combined with my reload, and then reducing the reload of all my other weapons would be pretty painful, so I'm gonna snag that one, grab some crit chance, uh, I guess probably crit damage, I'm just not really going incendiary now, I guess some pick up there. Decent reload, some reload for everything, or I could look for the freezing effect at 12. Eh, I need that to mine out the rocks actually. So getting a scanner off of the hoarder towards the end of the second stage is still pretty good. I'm usually still looking for a scanner on the third floor as well. Seems like just the one weapon doesn't actually mine out that fast though. Cryo damage or reload. Probably best to push the cryo grenade. Since that should be like 80% of my damage. Managed to mine out almost all of this level as well still. Some decent value from the gold scanner. I guess a white HP? Ooh, reload speed, or all throwables. See if I can get a cryo grenade hit there and run through as they're frozen. Ah, these are terrible.
big explosion damage. Or I could keep all my resources and try to get the scaling artifacts. You got work to do and quotas to meet. You have your objectives. Well, I think we actually have a chance to make it out. It's obviously not optimal, it's just fun to do sometimes. There's another scanner here. Gold tipped bullets. I'll take it. So right now we're at 171% damage. I have a decent amount of crit chance, not that much crit damage, so I'll go a little bit there. Now we're up to 198%. Some more explosive damage. Probably gonna die here since I can't really avoid them now. It's pretty close, so I can probably mine out most of this area now. On the way back. So, 227% at the end of the level. Two more stages to mine out. And we are holding all of this. Because I can.
I don't think I have enough Nitra to take the pickled Nitra. If I have 80% reduced movement speed, I'm just gonna die. I think you would need like well over 200 Nitra so that you actually have pretty high negative amount. If you're close to zero, then you would probably just die, I think. But if I get all of the Nitra on this level and the next one, then that might be enough. That is a lot of explosions. Another cryo grenade. Some more reload speed. Wow, these are pretty bad. I guess another gold scanner. It is the fourth floor, but oh well. Uh, the plasma burst is okay. Better than the incendiary that I'm not putting anything into. So, start of the elites, I'm at 274%. Kind of locked myself into that little corner there avoid the roly-poly at that point. I'm gonna go ahead and get some rocks on him while I can. Time that as he bounces away. That was a bit too slow, actually. Bit of movement speed. Throwable damage. Bit more gold with the double scanners on the way back. So, three hundred and twenty percent at the end of that level. We have one more artifact to go. I'm going to hold all of that because I can. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to push the pickled nitra high enough that it would work here. I think there's typically about 50 on each level. Might still be funny to try just to get an absolutely insane damage number though. But the nitrogenic powder would also be very good now, over 100% crit for that.
One of the bad things is that the true TNT overclock does seem to pretty consistently drop your frames when it hits a very large area of salt on this map. Almost always freezes the game for like a quarter of a second or something. Gonna get over 1100 gold held at one time. Puts me at 391%. Reload speed. I think this is probably the highest amount of gold I've held at one time. It actually took me a while to get the gold scanner. That's my third artifact. I think that was the hoarder on the second level. So I went almost two full levels before I even got a single scanner as well. Alright, time to see what's in the box. We got absolutely nothing. Squinties. I don't have that much crit damage, so it's probably worth it. I'm having oh, I could try and look around for a bit more salt to mine out. My single target damage isn't that high, though. So I'm going to try and keep putting damage on him as I move around as well. He didn't steal any of my rocks there. Can we get 1200? Twelve hundred, my most highestest, tallestest gold held ever. Imagine how many upgrades you could have gotten with 1200 gold. A legendary is like 77, I think. Must have more gold. That might be the entire level now. I certainly would have gotten everything in the middle. And the rocks that are generated by stuff don't drop anything with the scanners, I'm pretty sure. So, final stats 431% gold. Some decent crit with the squinties. 
some okay reload speed. The other stats are all fairly low. I didn't even get that until the end of the second floor. And then that was the fourth one, I think. So I could have gotten way more gold still. Very well done, Twelve thirty one. So I actually only spent around 60 gold in the entire run, since that was close to my maximum. We had a ton of potency due to the upgrade luck there. I typically prioritize a reload speed, and that was still lower. Some okay throwable stats, bit of explosive stuff. Got the overclocks that I wanted, true TNT, plus the cluster grenades. Plasma Burster actually did quite a bit considering it was level 11 with only one overclock. 1.5 million from the debuff, but I mainly got it for the crit chance. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.